Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. So in today's video, we've got a super quick tutorial for you guys. We're gonna show you how to convert XML data into Excel spreadsheets. Now, before we get started with that, if you're interested in your own copy of Microsoft Office or other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have links in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so for our example file today, we have a file called note.xml that I just created. And then let me just uh, open it here in Notepad. All right, so you guys can see the XML format and the file is a .xml. We're gonna take this and we're gonna convert it to a spreadsheet in Excel and we're gonna show you guys a few ways to do that. So let's go ahead and open up Excel and we're gonna start in a blank workbook. All right, so there's two main ways that we're gonna show you guys today. The first method is by utilizing the data tab. The second method is by utilizing the developer tab. Now, you won't see the developer tab by default. It's something you have to add into the ribbon manually. And what you can do is right click anywhere on an empty ribbon on any of the tabs and click customize the ribbon. And then as you can see right here, we have main tabs. You scroll down, developer will be unchecked by default. So you just check it. Here, I'll just uh, delete it for now. So we don't have developer. I'll right click here, press customize the ribbon, any blank space on the ribbon, check the developer box and press OK. Uh, but anyways, we'll go ahead and start in the data tab. We have some pretty cool options when it comes to getting data from uh, XML. So we're gonna click get data on the left from file. And then we're just gonna click from XML. Okay, we're gonna find the file right here, note.xml, and we'll click the import button. And then when it pulls this up, we have a preview of the XML, as well as several different options down here. If I press load, it's just gonna drop it straight into this worksheet and it's gonna format in a default way. Uh, if I click the arrow beneath it, load two will give us additional options. And then if we want even more options to actually customize the XML um, before loading it into the spreadsheet, that's what transform data does. So we can start by clicking transform data and then in here, we have a ton of options as to how we might want to change this up before we import the data. Um, just to show you guys a quick example, we have an applied steps window right here. This is going to show us what's been done. I could take the to column and move it in front of the from column. So we reordered the columns. And as you can see, we have the applied steps here. So it's actually recording that data. And then again, in the top left, dropping this down, we have load or load two. We'll go ahead and press load two to show you guys the options for that. And so here we just have a few simple choices between different charts or if we want to load a table. We can also import it into an existing worksheet and select a range, for example. Uh, or we could do a new worksheet, which is going to create a tab on the bottom and it's going to name it what the file is called. So we'll go with the existing worksheet. I selected a range here and we'll press okay. All right, so it comes into Excel already pretty much set up in a table format. And we can go in here and start editing it. Just add a few lines in here, okay. And then with this selected, uh, we can just go over to the file tab, press save as. I'll go ahead and save it here on my desktop. Excel workbook. And we'll, uh, we'll just put the name in here as note. XML to Excel transformation. Okay, we'll click save and now we have the workbook saved. It's pretty easy to do it from the data tab. Again, if you've got a large sample of data and you want to really play with it and edit it a lot, you're gonna be able to do all of that from the data tab. Reorder columns, change the structure, change the uh, format and then you can always just go ahead and import that afterwards. Okay, so next we're gonna quickly show you guys the developer tab method. So within the developer tab, we have a button up here called import. Again, we'll go click on the same XML file and we'll press import. And then here it, um, we get a little message that it's not referring to a schema. And then Excel is gonna create one based on the source data. So we'll press okay. Uh, again, I can select a range in the existing worksheet or I can set a new one. We have a properties tab here with some basic options. Um, we'll go ahead and leave this as it is, but it's good to know that you have some options here. 
and then we'll go ahead and press OK. All right, so as you can see, again, we have all of our information converted into an Excel table. Uh, so relatively simple and a super handy and neat feature that Microsoft developed for Excel. If you guys have any questions about this, drop those in the comment section below, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. Again, go ahead and check out those links in the description if you're interested in your own copy of Office. You can save on your purchase and get instant file delivery. If you found the video helpful, we'd really appreciate a like, comment, subscribe, and share. And again, thank you for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.